Welcome to Sunny's, the car wash factory. In conjunction with this training video, please reference each component's owner's manual, available at sunnysdirect.com, before performing any installation, repair, or maintenance procedure. Each manual details specific requirements and settings necessary for the safe operation and maintenance of your car wash equipment. Welcome inside the Car Wash Factory. Hey, we've been doing some maintenance videos and talking about how to really fine tune and adjust some of the equipment. Well, one of the real important pieces of equipment in your tunnel is your chemistry. Uh, for a while now, people have been talking about being frustrated, trying to uh, open up some PVC pipe that's been glued and tightened up, and it's been real tough to get the scrubbies out, clean out the scrubby pads. Uh, every now and then, we've got a problem with a water softener, and the water gets hard and solidifies, or the chemistry turns back into a concentrate or a powder, and they clog up, and we don't get the performance we need. So back at the factory, we've been working on what we call the quick release foam uh, generator chamber. Um, basically, the quick release gives us these quick locks. They're cam fittings. They've got an O-ring in there. They're e real easy to take apart. This will be connected on your arch or to your um, foam shower head or your wrap foamer tube or your um, pre-soak, whatever you might have outside. We do put a screen and a strainer in here that also would need to be cleaned and flushed out periodically. But the easiest part of this here is the brush. The brush is actually a brush covered by a, um, what we call a salami wrapper. You know, we, we look for everything we could. Um, if you pull it apart, dry like this here, you tend to need to pull the gasket out. That's okay. We'll put the gasket right back in again. And this, is, this brush here with the wrapper on it is what helps to aerate the product and make it foam before we deliver it to the vehicle service. Okay? Um, we've got a couple other tricks in here that also, also help it um, foam as well. Uh, we're actually applied for a patent on these here. We're going to wait to hear about those, but I'll show you what that is. When you normally hook up your half-inch poly line, which is the 3 8 outlet, you're going straight into this foam chamber at an open 3 8 tube and dumping a lot of chemistry into this chamber. So we have our, our blue nozzle. Periodically, if the chemical is solidified or a problem, you'll need to get a tip nozzle and actually um, clean out this nozzle. If you're not getting good flow, this is a good place to start and check. That flow jet pump that we're using, or Dositron, a flow jet pump at 50 PSI or 40 PSI is gonna flow about two to 2.1 gallons per minute, because it's rated at five gallons a minute at up to 80 or 100 PSI, so we're right there in the middle. This little nozzle here that we put on the end of our unit is a .93 gallons a minute at 40 PSI. That's not a lot of chemical, that's half of what we've been using. If we take the pressure up to 50 PSI, we'll be at about 1.1 1, 1 .1 gallons a minute. We've actually machined our fittings. We put this fitting back on. I'm gonna put this one down for a minute. But um, we screw this fitting inside here. So this cone nozzle, which is a full cone nozzle, takes that product that you're pumping from your pump and spins it and aerates it. So we've already started the foaming process before we even injected air, before we even put it past the brush. So that process there makes it to give it a lot of foam. What people don't look at is they're afraid they're gonna use more chemistry and they're afraid to turn their pump up. When you know there's a nozzle in there that flows half or, or less than what you were flowing out of your pump, you can go up 20% more in air pressure and get a much better foam. And I see a lot of guys just don't turn that pressure up enough. You put the foam brush back inside, you hook up your air to the side here, you can adjust it in the back room with your air regulator, and then you can fine tune it up here. You slide this back in, rinse this out, you're clean, we put our end back on and lock down our cam locks. Cam locks work, work real easy. A lot of them have little red buttons. You press those before you release, otherwise you can't so they don't just get hooked by your brush and clipped open. Again, if you want to increase your foam performance, cut down your chemical cost, give these a try. You can buy them single like this here, pairs, as many as you want, put them on there. All the Sunny's equipment today comes shipped with these on them. The only place you won't find that injector tip is on our lava system and our bubble palooza because we need a volume of product to cover that car the way it is. So those are not in there. So there's two different foamers, one with a nozzle, one without. Give them a try. You'll like them. They're easy to take care of, easy to service. And as well, we continue to look on to improve the performance and the reliability and the ease of maintenance for you, the operator, so you can satisfy more customers. Thanks again and good washing. Thank you for watching this maintenance overview video. Please visit sunnysdirect.com and review the complete owner's manual before attempting any installation, maintenance, or repair of this component. There you'll learn necessary procedures, settings, and other considerations required for the safe operation of your car wash equipment.